Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import any of the iClon motion file from iClon 7.9 iMotion file or RL motion file. Import into your Unreal Engine game project for any of the 3D avatar in your Unreal Engine game project and make them become the animation sequence in your Unreal Engine. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. As demo, I will just start my Unreal Engine and I will create a new game project. I will create a third person game project. Next, and I will put the file name as iClone Motion to Unreal Demo to Unreal 01. Alright. I create this project and this is a new third person game. And just wait for a while now it is creating this new game project file. Alright, so you can see you click the content, you go into the mana queen, go into the character and under the mesh folder, this is the only avatars that exist inside the Unreal Engine game project. The first one is the SK Mana Queens and another one is the SK Mana Queen female. You only have two avatars now. So in order to make any of the iClone motion file as an animation sequence in your Unreal Engine, first you must find which one is the skeleton mesh. So let's say if I want to I want to make the SK Mana Queen female as the avatar that I want to apply any of the iClone motion file first. You must export this out. Right. So now I'm going to export this out. What I need to do is just right click right click the SK Mana Queen female, then the asset actions click export and then as demo I will export it on my desktop it's SK Mana Queen female save it as a FBX file then click save then export now it should really export it as a FBX file next what we are going to do is open your iClone 3D Exchange 7 and you can activate the human skeleton, the, the human scale. Right, drag in the SK Mana Queens. Then click OK. And next, it is going to pop out a message for auto conversions. This time you must let know. Let's observe. Now, she's really a human size. And then next, what you are going to do is click the root nodes and then drag down, click convert to non-standard. And here some nodes have the same name, you choose yes. Now next, before you really plot any of the bones, before you really map it, you need to make sure you make her become the T-pose. Alright. To make her have a T-pose, what you need to do is just double click any of the bones. Then you readjust it to make her have a T-pose before, before you start. Right now, this one. Here I double click. You must make a T-pose for her before you really start. Next, you look from the top. This one, you need to adjust it as well to get a T-pose. The hand must have a T-pose. You must make sure to make it straight. This is the T-pose. Alright. Both, both sides must be straight. Next, look at the leg. 
look at the foot. You must make sure it is in T-pose as well. You can press E to, to readjust it. All right, now this is a T-pose. Once you already make her to have a T-pose, right here, this one, go in a little bit. All right, once already in T-pose, you can start to map, to map it. So now what is this? You double click, you see this is the head. So you plot, plot the head. Next, what is this? This is the neck. So you only have one neck, you plot it. First, you must make her to, to become a non-standard avatar here. Next, you are going to plot the hand, to map the hand. And then, next is the finger. This hand, you, you also must, must make it straight. See. This is the T-pose. You must make it straight. Like this. Alright, now... You have to plot the fingers it's here. Plot it one by one carefully. This is just a one-time job. You plot it. Now you have the middle finger. Now this is the last finger, then we will finish this hand. Alright, now we look at another hand. In order to make, make a T-pose, you have to double click and then adjust to make it up and straight. Now we plot again, we click here, plot the arm. And then plot the hand, map the hand. This is the hand bone. And then the thumb. The fingers. You have to plot it properly. Here. This side. This is the last finger. Next. You can just have a look. What else? This is the hip bone. Then this is the spine, and yet you have two spine here. You click, just need to start from the bottom and do not plot the shoulder's bones. For certain reason, I don't want to plot the shoulder bones to avoid any of the arrows. Next is the tight, the leg, and finally, you will plot the foot. Now, consider done already, you tick and make it active and click convert. Now, she already become a non-standard avatar. You can save it as a backup, export as an iClone iAvatar non-standard character. As there more, I will export it on my desktop. Click OK. OK. Now, I export it as, as the iAvatar. Next time, Next time you still can reuse it. Now I start a new one, I don't save it. I drag in the SK Mana Queen I Avatar. It will come in here. So always remember you have to scroll down to find the motion library. From the beginning, I already promised uh, I'm going to show you how to how to explore any of the iClone motion file for any avatar, any 3D avatar. 
your Unreal Engine game project. So now it's the time to get it. First, I find it, find an emotion file from Icrons. I click here, and this is the animations. Go to the motions. For example, the motion Haley to perform. You can see this is the dancing animation. I right click and find the file. After I click find the file, it will show in the file explorer. I, I right click view with the large icons, you can see. So if, if I want to import it for this avatar in your Unreal Engines, it can be any avatar. Right, now as demo, I will just give the SK Mannequin female a dancing motion, a dancing animations. So now I will use the first ones, the add-ons, drag the add-ons, eye motions or RL motion, drag it into the motion library. Where to find the motion library, you have to scroll down. Now you can see the add-ons, you can preview it. It should be no problem at this moment. All right, if no problem, then you can click add all to perform it will appear here next you are going to export it as the unreal engine fbx file you click here the target to preset you choose unreal engine and then untick the include geometry and only tick include the animation and also tick save one take per file and then as demo, I will export it on my desktop. And I will click OK. Click OK. And click OK. Now successfully exported. It will export it as the SK Mannequin. It's the file name SK Mannequin Female. Together with the animations name, the motions name, and dance. So next, I can come back to the Unreal Engine here. At here you can see actually you have to skeletal mesh. The first one is the male and another one is the female. So actually you want to assign to this female mannequins, but here you must make sure that it never share the same skeletons profile here. You can see this is the UE4 mannequin skeletons. If you double click the female, and then you click the skeleton, you can see actually it is using using the same skeletons. If you double click the male, you click the skeletons. Actually the skeletons are the same. So we want to reassign the skeleton to make sure that it never share the same skeletons. So what we're going to do is just right click here, duplicate this skeleton. And you name it as Mana queen female skeletons. All right, now you have this new new mana queen female skeletons. Next, you want this, you right click it, and then the skeletons you have to assign skeletons. You change it to become become the mana queen female skeletons. Then click accept. So now, if you double click this skeleton, it already reassigned. And at this moment, you want to import, import the animations that exported from Icon 3D Exchange. You can open a new folder here, right click, new folder. And here, you name it as female animations. All right, now this female animations, you double click and drag in to import SK Mannequin Female add-ons. You drag in and always remember the skeleton here. You must choose it properly, choose the correct skeleton. The mannequin female skeleton. And the animation length you must you must select the animated time. This is compulsory and really important. Then you click import all and wait for a while until it finish import. Now you can see after finish import it, it will pop out a message log here. You just need to close it. 
and you can see the animation sequence already inside here. When you double click, you can see this is the add-ons and these methods will work in any other 3D avatar in your Unreal Engine game project. And the SK Mana Queen female is just a demo, right? You can have your own avatar. You just need to export a skeleton mesh from, from your Unreal Engine to F FBX and use the 3D Exchange 7 to retarget everything here. Then you can apply any of the, the actual motion file under the motion library, ex export it as FBX again. Now it is already inside your Unreal Engines. All right, that's all for today about how to import any of the iCloud motion file to your Unreal Engine for any of your 3D avatar in your Unreal Engine game project. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy, happy animation and game developing. See you.